Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neo. First things first, Happy New Year. So glad to be in 2023. Hopefully it'll be great for me and for every one of you. Um, we've got a new video today. I haven't been doing my nails as often, but um, recently just redid my nails and was like, I might as well film it. So stay tuned to see how I got this really, really cool set done. So I had a previous um, gel set on my nails, like a gel tip set, and I did a complete removal, e-filing, and then soaking off the rest. So I do have bare nails, and we're basically starting from scratch. I had those um, tips on for quite a while, about a month plus, and they were nails that I had on from before, so they were refilled. It was just a lot. So I went in with the removal, starting off like I normally do, just with a quick file to shape my natural nails. Um, they've been growing a little bit underneath the gel tips, which I kind of enjoy. I don't really like my personal nails being too long, but it's kind of nice to see how healthy they are under these gel tips. Um, I went in with my spray bottle of alcohol, pushed my cuticles back with that scraper, and now I'm going in with this diamond abrasion skiver bit to clean up any of the dead cuticle that is stuck underneath that epinicium. I like this pointy bit because as you can see, I'm focusing my efforts under that area where all that dead skin likes to hide. Um, I have my e-file to a medium to high speed and it's safe for the natural nail. This is a cross cut bit. It is also diamond abrasion and it's kind of like using a sanding band but in bit form. So I like to use this especially because I'm just working on myself right now. I don't have to worry about changing sanding bands out. This is an option if you're someone who doesn't really care to be replacing sanding bands. It's basically the same thing. Safe for the natural nail. I am just giving myself a nice dusting on the nail to remove any shine and just to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth. When doing this step, it's super important to use extremely light pressure. You don't want to damage the natural nail. So next in prep is to clean up the actual skin sidewall area around the nail. I'm using a diamond abrasion ball bit. And as you can see, I am not using this on the surface of the nail. You will get rings of fire. Instead, I'm using this to clean up the appearance of the skin around my nail. My hyponychium grows really, really high and tough, like really dry. So I like to use the ball bit to clean that up. That is something you can also use with your clients. If you're in a state where you're not allowed to snip dead skin, the ball bit does the same thing. It's nice and easy. And and you don't have to worry about like cutting your clients. I'm going in with the natural medium square nails from a prey this time. Um, I did have on a short set before and it just irked me how short they were. Um, so I'm going in for medium, which are a little bit longer um, and it has a nice shape that I want. These are the natural, so they don't have that insane C curve like the sculpted does, but it does have a little bit of a C curve just for structure um, and the prey tips are just unmatched. So I'm just going in quickly and sizing myself to pick the tips that I need. In terms of sizing, you always want to go slightly larger than just a snug fit. As you can see on my pinky, I'm going back and forth. The second size that I tried was just perfect enough, which means that there wouldn't be any room for the glue. So you always want to go up a size and file to fit. To prep the tips, I am just going in with that same crosscut bit and I'm just etching the inside of the tips. You can actually use this with an etcher. I know a prey does sell that, like a chemical etcher, but I just use a sanding bit. I'm cleaning off the dust because you do not want dust involved in your gel set and then we're going to get ready with prep. So for prep I'm going in with the Apre dehydrator. I think it's step one. It's called prep um, and it's basically just going to dehydrate your nail, get rid of any moisture or oil or anything like that that will disturb your um, new set. Then I'm going to go in with the Apre um, primer. Um, I'm running a little low on this one, but this is what I'm using to kind of base my nail, get that nice tacky adhesion that we like. And I like to scrape this into the surface of the nail. We did use that crosscut bit to etch the nail. This is the time where you want to make sure that primer is getting nice and soaked into everything. I like to go in with a second primer. This is the Super Bond by Valentino. It just works for me. Um, you definitely don't have to do that step, but it's something that I like to do. So for the first step in terms of getting these tips on my nails, we need to add a base coat of our glue product. I am not using the Apre Gel Builder in a Bottle. I'm using the Beatles Nail Glue, and I'm air coating around nail glue because it's not really nail glue. It's more of a builder in a bottle. I'll be using quite a few Beatles products today, um, but it's my favorite so far in terms of basing my nails. And as you can see, 
it's nice right there like that's a really nice manicure for someone who's like super low maintenance and doesn't want the tips but we want the tips now i gotta add some additional glue to the actual tip i usually try to brush the gel into the tip first and then add excess and then i'm going to place it at my cuticle and very slowly press back and this is where having a slightly larger tip is better because then the glue has room to kind of glide up to this the free edge of your natural nail versus like squirting out the bottom or around the side walls um just make sure when you're sizing you're not using tips that are completely perfectly flush to your nail you do need room for that um glue to kind of move same thing placing it right at the cuticle nice and tight and then using my ring finger behind my nail to act as a counter pressure so that we can get a slow kind of rise of the gel product to my free edge you can see that light off to the right the left side of the screen i have like a little portable gooseneck led light that i use there to like flash cure so that's what i'm doing once it reaches my free edge i just slide my hand over into that light and we have a beautiful application after doing that i did put my entire hand in my lamp for one minute and we're pretty much done Gonna go in with a quick file um, of all of these nails just to make sure that we get that little tab that's at the tip of the nail off and to make sure that the shape is nice. If you apply a tip a little bit crooked, you can use this filing time to kind of re-straighten the free edge so that it aligns with your fingers. Going in with some alcohol to clean up any um, sticky residue that might be left from the tip and or the gel on the front and the back. I know we're moving so fast. Um, so next I'm going in with my base color. So this is another Beatles product that I that just came out and I snagged it on Amazon and I love it. I wanted to go in with a sheer kind of brownie natural nude kind of color and Beatles came out with their colored builder gels in a bottle. So this is actually not a polish. This is a builder gel. So not only am I getting this gorgeous color, but we are adding more structure and stability to the nails, which will help for cracking if you're someone who's a little bit more heavy handed like me. Um, and I am just going in with a nice thick coat. It is not a gel polish, so it is a thicker consistency. And I'm just gonna paint um, all of my nails this color. You can see it's a beautiful natural kind of nail color where you can kind of see the free edge and an kind of like a transparent translucent way but it's still that pretty brown nude i didn't want to see like my natural nail through this design so this is a perfect perfect color i believe this is number 18 in the set definitely check it out they are tiny bottles but this is like beetles beetles is infamous for that with the tiny tiny little bottles but um this product is really really nice i'm interested to see what this would be like to build a nail completely it comes with white i think it comes with like 12 or 13 different colors it does have a clear as well so i will try that in terms of backfilling when it's time to um, refill this set but every single nail is getting a coat and a cure here's what that looks like at this point we could stop it's just gorgeous but i'm not so for our design we're going in with some blooming gel you can use any one this one is from ijo beauty and you just want to add a nice coat to the entire nail now i'm going in with this black gel striper and i'm drawing a swirl diagonally across my nail in black tiny tiny dots i think the trick to doing this gator skin design is to use tinier dots than you think you do a lot of the times i see people doing it and it's just all over the nail the tinier the dots the more control you have in terms of where the design is going to spread you can always add more gel it's harder to take away gel um, so I'm just going in and how I decided to do this when I was doing this in person is I did every other nail so that pinky is not cured at this point because I wanted the black gel to kind of spread a little bit more so I did the black dots then did the blooming gel on the next nail and then flash cured that previous nail and then continued that way so every single nail kind of had its time to spread I wanted this kind of swirly gator pattern to be a little bit softer rather than like hard dashes so just giving blooming gel time to kind of spread that color Color is important and it came out really really nice because the black fades enough that it's not doing too much on these beautiful nude nails so as I'm wrapping this nail up I haven't cured that ring finger I'm going in with the blooming gel for my middle finger and allowing that black on the previous nail to spread once I'm happy with how far it has spread I'm gonna flash cure in my little lamp that's on the side of the screen then I'm gonna add the black and then continue like that so every single nail gets its time to kind of bloom and spread so that we're not ending up with a harsh line once you're happy with everything just stick that hand in your lamp your LED lamp for about 30 seconds and that design will be locked in. 
and here's what that's looking like nice and soft and pretty at this point you can stop but i'm not so i needed a pop of color i'm going in with this really cool turquoise striper down the center of every single nail um, i don't know how i came up with this i just knew that i wanted turquoise in this design and that's it we're just adding a straight line down the center of every single nail in terms of making sure that the nails are straight please just let the liner do the work for you you see i'm placing the brush and literally just dragging it down the length of the nail if you have adjustments to make small slow strokes are the way to go don't try to make it perfect and as you can see i'm just letting the liner kind of do the work for me then i cure and lock those down to add just a tiny bit of sparkle i'm going in with this gold liner brush and it was so crooked i had no idea how it bent like that but same thing line that brush up on the nail and literally just drag it down for the thinnest gold line to the right of that blue line then i'm going to go in with black and add an even thinner line and if you want a thin line use the tip of the brush if you want a thicker line then actually flatten the brush on the nail but same thing if you want straight line work you have to have to have to just let the brush do the work just drag the brush down the nail final thing to top this off is i felt like it was a little bit dark i'm going in with the white liner brush and we are just adding three little dots um diagonally across the nail and i'm alternating from every other nail Nail, and I just thought that the white was just a hint of something bright and it didn't do too much but I don't know it was really cool and abstract and I really really liked it this is the final step for this design really simple I didn't do very much it's something that anyone can do very minimal tools all I did was use liner stripers that I got from Amazon it's a really really simple but graphic and cool design last step for this really cool but simple design is to top coat i am going matte with matted from not polished this is the kind of design that i think definitely needs to be matte so it can be appreciated in its full form you don't want gloss to kind of um, take away from it with shine so I'm going in with this matte top coat and actually I cured in between or flash cured in between each finger I was just nervous about the matte top coat like shifting or moving it is a thicker consistency and I wanted it to be a gorgeous even matte top coat so I flash cured in between each um, nail and then did a full cure for a minute after When applying top coat, always clean up, clean your sidewalls, etc before curing so you end up with a nice clean finish but this is what the nails ended up looking like I think they looked really really cool um, let me know what you would have done what color stripe you would have done on the middle I also think like neon yellow or hot pink would have been cool because it's such a simple neutral look thanks so much for watching this video like if you like subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one